Hey, Lake Mary, this is Chelsea with Remax Innovation. It's that time of the month for the monthly real estate market report update. So we're gonna be going over all sales for January, whether it's single family homes, townhomes, or condominiums. Let's get started. to start off with the single family homes in Lake Mary for January that were sold. So we had a total of 37 homes that were sold. We did not have any homes between the zero to a thousand square foot range. So we're going to just skip that. Um, for the 1,001 to 1,500 square foot, we had six homes that were sold. For the 1,501 to 2,000 square foot, we had 10 homes that were sold. For the 2,001 to 2,500 square foot, we had five homes that were sold. For the 2,501 to 3,000 square foot, we had six homes that were sold. For the 3,001 to 3,500 square foot, we had three homes sold, as well as the 3,501 to 4,000. Again, we had three homes that were sold. For the 4,001 to 4,500 square foot, we only had one home sold. And then the 4,501 plus square footage, we had three homes that were sold. Now we're gonna move on to the graph, which is the listing price versus the sold price. So this is gonna give you an idea of what the properties were listed for and what they were sold for. So the 1,001 to 1,500 square foot, on average, they were listed for 263,000, and then they sold for 269,000. For the 1,501 to 2,000 square foot, they were listed for an average of 312,000, and then they were sold for an average of 313,000. For the 2001 to 2500 square foot, um, they were listed for 454,000 on average, and then they were sold for 435,000. Then the 2501 to 3000 square foot, they were listed for 433,000, and then they were sold for 427,000. Then we have the 3001 to 3500. They were listed for about 644,000 and then sold for 623,000. Then we have the 3501 to 4,000 square foot. They were listed on average about 831,000 and then they were sold for 761,000. Then the 401 to 4,500, um, they were listed for about 660,000 and then sold for 619,000. And then finally, the 4501 square foot or higher, um, they were listed about 1,204,000, and then they were sold for around 1,021,000. Now what we're gonna do is move to the average days on market. Um, for the 1,001 to 1,500 square foot, they're on average um, on the market for 26 days. The 1501 to 2000 square foot, they're on market for an average of 18, almost 19 days. The 2001 to 2500 square foot, they're on market for an average of 14, almost 15 days. The 2501 to 3000 square foot, they're on average um, on market for about 19 days. The 3001 to 3500 square foot, they're on average on market for 30 days. Then the 3501 to 4,000 square foot, they're on average on market for 179 days. The 4,001 to 4,500 square foot home, it was on market for 92 days. And then finally, the 4,501 square foot or higher, they're on market for about 109 days. So you kind of see here, the larger the home is, the longer typically is on the market as well as larger the prices as well. So the smaller homes, they are going fairly quickly in almost less than a month. All right, and then we are going to be moving on to the condominiums. Okay, so we had a total of nine condominiums sold in January. We had three condominiums that were zero to a thousand square foot. And then we had from six condominiums from 1,001 to 1,500 square foot. We didn't have any other condominiums, any larger ones, so we're just gonna now move on to the graph, which is the listing price versus the sold price. For the zero to 1,000 square foot condos, they were listed for about 129, almost 130,000. 
and then they were sold for about 122,000. Then the condos that were 1,001 to 1,500 square foot, they were listed for about 174,000, and then they were sold for 159,000. So you see right here, we do have a little bit of a drop right there on the second one, but they're about selling for almost the listing price. So what we're going to be doing is now moving to the average days on market. So for the average days on market, the condominiums that are zero to a thousand square foot, they sold in about 22 days. And then the condos from 1,001 to 1,500 square foot, they sold in about 155 days right there. And um, the reasoning for that is we had one condominium that it sold in about 838 days. If we remove that condominium from the equation, then they sell in about an average of 41, almost 42 days. So that condominium, it's the one that really kind of killed it a little bit for us. But um, again, it is about 41 days removing that condominium right there. And now we're going to be moving on to the townhomes. Okay, so we had a total of 11 townhomes that were sold in January. Two of them were in the zero to 1,000 square foot range. One was in the 1,001 to 1,500 square foot range. One or two of them, sorry, were between the 15 and one to 2,000 square foot range. And then six were between the 2,001 to 2,500 square foot range. Um, we did not have any larger of the townhomes, so what we're going to do is now move on to the graph for the listing versus sales price. Um, for the two of them that were in the zero to a thousand square foot range, they are on average listed for 119,000, and they actually went up and sold for 124,000, so that's really good. Then the 1,001 to 1,500 square foot range, they were listed for 167,000 and sold for 169,000. So they went up again, so that's very good. And then the um, 1,501 to 2,000 square foot range, um, it was listed for 314,000 and then they sold for around 296,000. So there was a little bit of a decrease and a drop right there. Then the 2001 to 2500 square foot range, on average, they are listed for 373,000, and then they were sold for 341,000. So there was a little bit of a drop right there. And then when we move on to the average days on market, the um, townhomes that were zero to 1,000 square foot, they sold on an average about 16 days. The 1001 to 1500 square foot, they sold on an average of 13 days. And then the 15 and one to 2,000 square foot, it took them about 157 days. And that is because there was one townhome that sold for, sold in 268 days and one that sold for 47 days. So that was the big um, difference right there. And that townhome, um, it did have a significant drop um, from the listed price versus current price, while the 47 one only had a slight drop. Then for the 2001 to 2,500 square foot, um, the average days on market was 111 days. And this concludes the Lake Mary monthly real estate market report update. If you guys have any comments or questions, please make sure to comment below or feel free to message me direct. If you'd like to check out any other cities or Seminole County information, please make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel as I have monthly real estate market report updates for all cities and Seminole County in whole. And again, thank you for watching and I hope everyone has a great rest of their day and week.